Going on, everybody. Pro Trader Mike. Hope you had a wonderful night last night. A great trading day. We do that every single day. Let me show you what's going on in the Mojo Room. TNXP. Whew, what a trade. I almost died this morning. Heart attack. It's fucking crazy. I almost died of a heart attack this morning. The stock moved so crazy. I was so up in the room. And oh, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. <clears throat> Show you what we got going on in the mojo room. It's November 29th, 10.30 a.m. Been some amazing things going on. Show you the room. Uh, Bobo Schneer is here, by the way. Uh, my best friend right there and my buddies right here let's show you what we did in the mojo room roll up to the morning it wasn't that long ago right here Right, so we got six people watching right now. <clears throat> my other guy, my competitor. Let's see if I can get his fifteen hundred people, but he's not showing his positions and his screen and what he's got going on. You know what I'm saying? They don't do that, but. They're live, good. So we'll see what's going on. I'm Pro Trader Mike. I've been doing Mojo Day Trading for six years, since 2012, almost going to be seven. And I've been day trading for 25 years. I've been trading on this platform called the DOS Trader Platform for over, ten, for over 10 years. So here's where we started this morning. You ain't going to believe this. Coming in this morning, everyone does the mornings, get the screen share going. Did a uh, move right here. This is Snow Gem. Mining Snow Gem. Looks real good. 921. ALQA. Watch. We did two monster trades. Follow my thinking and my research. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> be changing around some things with the Mojo Room. Give everyone an opportunity to come in and check this out. <clears throat> Make this kind of money right here. So this right here, <clears throat> excuse me, is an AC. The stock ran up. Follow my mouse. It ran up, and this is a heart. It's called a Cupid Top. I love it because it's the end of the trade play. Whoever was in down here made love. And that big, big profit. So the trade's over on that red bar. And then it comes down and everyone's losing right here. Then it comes down and everyone's like praying for it to go up right here. And it doesn't. And this bar and this bar is an auto close. AC. Overmargined auto close trade play. And we're going to take the V down here for a move back up into here. See this right here, this last little red? This is the trigger that's going to suck it out and send it right back up into here. And if I'm right, we got a big score because there's very little risk only playing it in one direction up. It's kind of like INPX, which I did the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right here, the stock made a huge run up, which was front run by a notorious day trade room that I follow. And he made a huge amount of money, and his moderators did, but the whole room got stuck and left in this. And right here, this red bar is the auto-close bar. 
and the people got auto closed and then it went here and then boom we played that move back up So we played this move back up right here, and we made a huge score on it. So I'm thinking the same thing's gonna happen to this stock. See how it came down, goes to the right, and then this one little trigger right there. You see that? Look where INPX did this one little trigger before it blew. And here's the one little trigger right there. If I could show you on the right screen, that would be nice. So right here is the trigger on ALQA that I'm going to pick because the trigger is on INPX right there. Just before it made its explosion, it came down just these two little red bars for a last suck out. And I think that's this one right there. You could see it. So we're going to come in right here on ALQA and we're going to nail it at 250. See that? That's my research I did. And that was at 925 this morning. So let's see what it did. It made a move right on the open from what I said. They did the suck out and look what it did. 319, 340, 355. That right there, for anybody that wants to check it out, is a move from 2, let's say 60. Two, I'll give you give benefit. You got 275. Minus 335. You made 60 cents divided by 275. You made 21.8% on that. ADIL just opened up. 350. See it? It was halted. It's going to crash, but there's a signal at 72. It's going higher. See it? Oh, he just came in with a signal lower, but there's still signal at 72. It's going higher told you there's the 72 and they're buying it from the bid 58 scary shit 9,000 just went off dark pool in between at 68 these are dark pools when you see many uh, decimal points more than that it goes right through it's a dark pool See that? 77, 80, 85, 90. See that? Crazy how it went to that number. Now there's signals up above in the 90s. I'm so glad I got my 10 people watching this. I want to thank you guys. Maybe give me... I got three of you guys to give me a like. That's nice. I'm here. Hi. Hi. You'll check out the Mojo Day Trading website. We're going to have some new things going on. So easy to make money in this market when you know what you're doing. Here's the other one that halted. RLM. You're in this halt right here and you bought this thing right here. Look, 530, 590. You're down 100% and it halted again. Not too good. Not too good. So let me show you what went on. TNXP halting now. Halting. Look at that size. It didn't halt. Wow, they took all that shit in. So here's my pick on TNXP. Right here. 675. Make a move through 7. And it went all the way to nine. It went to nine. ADIL, 424. Four told you it was going higher.
So I nailed two of them for you. I nailed ADIL for you. 350 to 420. Just made a 70 cent move. UV and TV are moving. 425 now on Adel. Amazing. Just amazing trades. ALQA did exactly what I said it was going to do right there. We have the day trade room and the YouTube, the trophy for the lamest day trade room and the lamest YouTube in the industry. Nice. Got a bunch of uh, crickies, crickets in the room. Yeah, everyone sleeps. Crickets award. Mike comes in the room. There's a little bit of noise. He's, a, he's active. He makes money and he goes. I like him. <clears throat> Here's NLCH. Look at this shining trade play. Amazing. The shining is, let me explain, you buy it up here, anywhere, anywhere, and then it dumps, and you lose all your stock down here, see that with a V is, and then it comes up here and it like <laughs> spits on you, here you feel like it vomited on you, and here you feel like you want to murder yourself, which is Red Room, R-E-D-R-U-M. Murder spelled backwards, which is the shining movie with Jack Nicholson. So here's the trade on MNGA, which we have as a swing pick. Hopefully it'll expect to go to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4 over a four-day period. <clears throat> that would be nice. 30 seconds to the open. Here we go. I don't can't put out any screenshots because I'm trading with the group and if I take a screenshot and I put it in it may cost me for my trade but I do have time to be on the mic and tell everybody exactly how to buy when to buy and when to sell so let's rock and roll we're gonna enter into a position of TNXP to eight dollars so we're gonna buy it at 750 760 70, 80, and into the 90. And it did that. And when it went to 789, I called out a sell and we sold it. Then we rebought it back at 97 plus into $8. And immediately it went to 727 where we started selling it. Started selling at 702. I mean, we bought it back from 727 at 702. No, we bought at 727 because it went to 9. So here's what it did. That was from in all in the same 5 minutes. So the first opening bar right here, it went to 790. And then boom, right through the 8 to the 870. This is the first 5 minute bar that we're in right now. And after this rise at 870 we buy it back at 727 which is about right there right off the bottom at 955 and we're taking it 677 685 680 ALQA we're selling into 309 TNXP is a great pick. Mike made $687. Trade one done on TNXP. UWT into $14. 90.95.97. UWT went to $14.04. Right here on the open. UWT called on the open, made a move to 1404. Two for two. ASNS <clears throat> 305. 
telling everyone it's moving. Here we go. Now it's 325. Bam. Account number two. $790. Done. Made a hundo. Nice buying power. Then he's got uh, TNXP. Again, we're going to trade it through 50. That's a buy. And I'm telling everyone, buy that thing now. And then he says, wow. And I say, add. We're going to buy more. I have a trade play called the wow trade play that without hesitation, you buy whatever you sold back. And that's it. It's the wow. So we bought it back at 778 where we sold it. I bought it back at 8085 and I sold at 809. Woohoo, you better ask somebody. Then I sold more. I tell everyone 824. Coaching everyone in the trade. Not after the fact, selling and being quiet, not showing my screen, showing everybody as a group how to make money. Unreal. You better ask somebody. That trade killed me almost. Almost killed me. I almost killed me. It's unbelievable. Mike left a lot on the table. Fudge. UWT Hines. Awesome trade. Choking on money we just made. Sick. Flat at 845. So now we're flat at 845. From a move all the way from 675 through 7 and through 8 to 845. Brilliant trade. Here's TNXP. Monster move right through the 7, right through the 8 to 837. Sick. Done for the day at 939 in the morning. That was sick. Let's see who made money. $780, 384 Daily goal hit in nine minutes. You know, that's what it's all about. JNUG through seven. Easy trade on the JNUG there. DGAS, he made 837 TNXP 140 and 94 Good job, Tom. He's in Madrid in Spain trading and making money in Madrid. See, and he had one, he had 677 on TNXP and he sold too early and I told him, "Listen, just listen to me. Don't listen to yourself. You didn't sell. You didn't just listen to me. That wasn't a problem. You didn't sell way too early. You didn't listen and just press the button when I put it in as a sell. I'll put it into the room." Look, sold half of ASNS 3330325. ALQA, new high, 324. Keep it above $3. Move it to 315. 329, sold it. I'm telling everyone exactly what to do and do with the shares. DGAS is going through 52 now. It's unbelievable. And now we're flat. Great trade on ALQA. We caught it off the shining. It spit, vomited, and did a little murdering ski. Now it's 297. We sold it up there at 330. Look. Now it's 296. 297. See, look what it did. It came all now all the, now it's probably a good a good buy. Right down here at 294, 295 for the move back through 3. My system's bogging down. I got a lot of other things in the background running. Maybe I should shut down some of my other platforms. I'm trading crypto and stuff. Yeah, let me shut down a couple of, uh, other things. I got a lot of things. I got this working. My Mojo admin who made money today. Uh, demo 17 lost 500 and demo 30 lost 24. Nice.
And I gotta shut that platform down, would be nice. I got too many things, processes working. I got this work, I got that. Okay, now, now it'll, now I can already tell it's smoother. Unbelievable. So that RLM got the fucking destroyed. It's probably a good buy right off here. RLM. 365 bid. There you go. Buy the ask. Adel, right here. Don't touch it. Kirkland, saw it this morning. I don't want it no more. Abercrombie and Fitch, removing it. Maybe a good buy there. TNXP, awesome day on you. I don't even want to know you tomorrow. Roku, I'm long on the uh, swing side from Pro Trader Ali. Thanks, buddy. INOV, really? Is that high? $13 stock? Wow. I remember this thing. It was cheap. Uh, different. Maybe it was a different stock. RLM told you it's going higher. Bid 70 by 80. They'll go 75 bid. They'll jump it right up. Told you ALQA was a good buy. Going right back over three right now. There it goes. Look. Told you. MNGA swing pick right here. See if it could make its move. One of these days it will. It's not doing that RGSC. I'll give it one or two more days. ALQA, Heinz also, beautiful. That was a great one, yep, yep, yep. So let's go back to the room and check it out, finish what our, my recap here for the day. So we're done for the day. TNXP, back to the grind, done, hit the goals. Pro Trader Mike's the best. Got to head out, guys. Much luck from Spain. Amazing calls today. Best room on the planet. Where's the penny stock guy now? He's breastfeeding. Roku 39, Alcoa Mini 50. Trade it right there and buy. So it goes boom, sold flat right through 50 into the 60s. Right there, sold 69. TNXP average 748, selling here 769. Pro Trader Rent 3 on 1129 of 18 sold 700 RGSE at 85, order 5207. All you have to do is keep your ears open and clear things that affect your hearing when Mike's giving the picks. Thanks again. Good job, Pro Trader Renteria. Uh, he bought at at 40 cents, sold it at 85.6 at the top. Great job. Sold at Heinz 8, 39 and 40 through Roku. Beautiful job. And then these were halted right now uh, on the halt list. ADIL right here at 244, which you saw. ADIL is 344 right now. Went to 425. ADIL right there put out. You can see the high in the room is 247. Right now, the stock right now from 247 is 357. It went all the way up to $4. From the first image I put out in that mojo room after these two bars right there. Look, two bars right there. See that halted. Boom, image. Had time to do it cause only because of the halt. Otherwise, I would have put in the symbol and typed it. Boom, right there. Okay. Next one, TNXP. And then this other one, RLM halted, but it was up way too much on no volume. Probably a front run. So whoever was or in RLM, you probably got in front run because it only traded 290,000 shares from 275 to 5. And it was adjusting up here, halting at 8, but it never opened up there. It's now at 3. So whoever got stuck up here at 5 and when it opened into 8, you, just, you got burned so bad. It's unbelievable. So whoever day trade room is trading that or had you in that stock was not responsible enough to figure out the number of traders that needed to be in it to buy it, why it halted, with a misconstrue burn, he got out, you all got burned, and that stock went from 5 to 598 and is now at 358. So your money, besides your subscription, made – if your day trade chat room has more than one moderator that calls out the picks and does shit in the room, 
They're a team. They're all communicating on Skype and privately to make their move to give to the room to feed. Because, dude, if I can make $200,000 in profits off the room, I'll spend $100,000 in marketing to bring more people in the room and I'll have 1,000 people in the room and it'll be a revolving door. That's what they do. But I've been doing it for 25 years. I couldn't imagine <clears throat> ripping people off for 25 years. Eventually, maybe they'll realize and their game will stop when they have more than a million dollars, maybe. Or they have their nice house and their great office and their great cars and their great children and their great family. And then they realize, maybe, you know, I've been ripping everyone off. I, you know, well, they don't have that because they ripped everyone off. Dogs. You know, you just can't do that, man. Just can't do that. Stock's going higher through 50 now, RLM. So, taking that out on people's shit from $8 down to $341. Shouldn't freaking feel good. <clears throat> INPX the other day. Taking it up from uh, right here into, fi into uh, $5 and taking it down to, uh, to 4 I wasn't even the one. It was worse. It was right here. It was a big front run bar right here into um, five ninety seven straight down to four thirty. I mean, people are just getting hurt. I used to be that dude ten years ago. I used to ride this shit down. Oh, hope it'll come back. It's got to come back. It was up. Dude, it was up at 597. It's freaking 430. It's got to go back. It doesn't, man. And you waste your whole day and you're freaking questioning your being and shit. Why? Because some other guy took advantage of you that's trying to that you believe is trying to help you rather than the stock market who is trading against you and your firm. So you got your firm trading against you, the killer sharks in the market, the high frequency trading computers that you're against, and freaking your, your room moderator. You're fucking three battling against. At least I put stack the side with me so we can combat the market and kick that ass and try to be our own market maker and freaking know what to do with inside the level two before the stock goes there. Fucking name of the game. It's fucking unbelievable. And my guy right now, the other guys, they turn on. They'll have 9,000 people watching, and I got nine. At least I got four likes. Hello from Belgium. I got a guy from Belgium. Chris Renard got it. I, your name sounds familiar. You used to be part of Mojo, I believe. Your last name sounds familiar. I have another honey from Belgium, pro trade of Viv. She's from Belgium. Trade of Viv. So st those two stocks halted, and that's it, man. You know, these guys are making big money in the room. The State Department revealed and suggesting you okay, pretty wild. Here's Pro Trade of Viv. Is she here? Yep, here she is. She's from Belgium. Right there. You know how long she's been with me? Four years, Viv, for four years. Look, message. Go back. See when the first message. In January 10th of 2017. Okay? I'm on my first message with her. We talk all the time. Been with me for four years. That's January of 2000. Then we just opened this room. Bohan, this guy, he's been with me for, uh, for five years. This guy. 11-22 of 2016. Oh, it's almost two, a two-year anniversary right now just for this room. Look at that because it's 11-29 of 2018. Pro Trader Mark. Right here, been with me for over two years. We text all the time. 
Pro Trader Michael, I spoke to him last night on the phone when I was at the mining farm. Uh, Mike D, constant in the room. Great guy. Parks, Joel Parks and Garrison Parks. Working with the family. I work with the fa Zach and Kelly, Pro Trader Zach and Pro Trader Kelly, also family in the group. Pro Trader Jorge just came back. Because there's no other day trade room. He traded with me like two years ago. Just came back. Now there's hundreds of rooms he could have joined. Where did he go? To me, and I made him repay for Mojo U because it's completely different. And if he's here, maybe he'll tell you how unbelievable it is. Let's see if I can get on the mic. Hey, what's going on, guys? I didn't even hear yeah, the mic wasn't on, but I'm on the Mojo show. You hear, Jorge? I got my jets back. See, this guy's come many times. Since 11-7, it's 11-29. See my trades? Last few weeks. My videos. So uh, just an unbelievable morning. I don't know if you guys have been watching me on uh, YouTube, guys, but I've been live on YouTube. Probably not because there's only eight people watching on YouTube. So you probably haven't. But I've been talking about you. Good. Been talking good about you. Pro Trader Renteria, couple of years. Saywin, years. Scott, just uh, about a year. Well, six months. Tom, three months, four months. Meteor Man hasn't taken Mojo U yet. Victory, two months, a month and a half. <clears throat> She's taking Mojo University right now. I'd love to find out what she thinks about it. ASNS is going through 50. New high on ASNS right here. Look. See? Look, spiking on ASNS. Amazing. <clears throat> so my picks have been phenomenal. And that's it, man. Where's my ASNS pick? Man, there's just been so many of them. Look at the profit album. Pro Trader Say Win, 5,425. You're up to 5,700, bro. Let's get this. Oh, nice. You're starting to make a little bit bigger profits. Nice trade on, on UWT and JNUG sticking to your ETFs. Good game plan. Pro Trader Say Win. I like it. Tom, sick, beautiful consistency every day. 875, 480, 105. Nice job, Tom. Myself, ALQA, could have made a lot more on that one. DGAS, but I stuck to my guns on JNUG and made 1715 and UWT 577. Followed by Peter at 987 on the JNUG, made 1904 and jumped that up to 2794. And Jane, I had the patience on the JNUG, went from 825 to 1700. Waited, 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 waited with the patience on that one. I think I even have a... Uh, Start on my patience. Because it was a show banner. Right here. I bought right here at 6.30. Made a little move. I just had patience right in here in this whole time. And all these other stocks were moving. And I said, you know, patience. This Fed meeting was coming out. Gold's way oversold. I had paid, and then boom, patience paid off. Sold it right over there at seven and went to 1715 for a 2794 day. Real deal, Holyfield. And that was that one. UWT, new high, 1413. Nice job on UWT. 
1413, RLM, Lottie, 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 the people that own this shit up here at six, if you've in a day trade room, it's only traded 876,000 shares, it's fucking utterly irresponsible and ridiculous for you to be in that stock with multiple moderators and people calling out picks and you got burned and they're buying tens and 20,000 shares between the three of them, that's 100,000 in and 100,000 out, it's almost all the volume in this bitch. And that's where it was when it went up. And now all the selling and the shorts are snailing it on the way down. Yep. And this one, ADIL, same fucking thing. Front run to death. Look, traded 21,000 and 75,000. There's your moderators with their 100,000. Ready? They call it out to the room. Boom. They get taken out. The room owns it right here at average of 350. And then within a minute, it doesn't go higher. It doesn't go higher. And then it crashes. And they're all getting sucked out right here at 272. That's not fair. The market's against you. Everything's against you. The room shouldn't be trading against you. And you pay them a fee each month. And you've paid them for materials for education to show you how they snake you. That ain't fair. There's only a small group of people within the room that make money. Prove it. Show you. F I don't want to see your statements. I want to see your screen with your live orders going in and your trades live in the trade. Here, I'm in the trade. Look, now put it into the room. Okay? Right at the same time. Not, oh, I'm in the trade. Oh, get on my Skype. You'll buy some of this shit. Buy right now. We're going to put that shit out in about five minutes, man. Boom. They all buy it. All right. Watch this. Hey, guys. Buy. Fucking ADIL. Okay. Going for a three. Going up right here for the three. We're going to buy it into 375, 380. Here we go. Thank you. You just took me out. So they let, you know, it's unbelievable. And now everyone owns it to 380. Yeah, it did go to 426 for a flash right there. But that's not a sell. So who fucking knows? I would have sold it there. Stock went from 390 to 426. I would have sold it. They didn't. They're fucking stuck. INPX, I'm taking off my screen. I did my job with that one. Able. See Able? Got burned up into 814 at 272. Same exact thing got happened on Able. People got front run and destroyed. It's the same exact thing right here. Look. Your first two bars right here on Able. 2,000 shares. 500. 86. There's your first 100,000. And maybe they bought into this bar too. So 86,000 and 86,000. So that, look at it, 86,939. They each bought the same amount. Look at that. 86. Oh, was, I thought it was two bars of the same. 26 and 80. That's 100,000. There's your 100,000. And then it runs up. They call it out to the room right up into here. Room buys it. It doesn't go higher. Fluttles around. Comes down. Room right here gets auto closed and stopped out twice. Stays the same and flies back up. And, dude, it's just unbelievable. I feel bad for, you know, I used to be in that game. I've been doing this for 25 years, folks. I was in that losing game for a long time. You have to go back to work for the man. And it really wasn't your fault. Fucking bad, dude. You got to go draw, wake up in the morning. You can't go into your office and get on the computer you can't trade. You don't have an account. You got to go look and put your resumes in if that's what you do. Or otherwise, you go get a job and you're freaking working for the man. You're a sales guy. You're working doing this shit. And 9 o'clock, you're leaving at 7. You're doing your sales meetings at 9. You're freaking going to lunch. You're looking at the clock at 4.30. You can't wait to leave. 
And then payday comes and they wind up screwing you. You got to go into the office and complain. Look, you made a mistake. This is my commissions. This is what I did. Fix it. And you're always bitching and hollering. And they're always having trouble making payroll because the boss is buying a new Mercedes and shit off your hard-earned money and your work and your pain. And you're freaking the first one there in the morning, the last one to leave at the end of the day for fucking nothing. Jorge, can you put that in the uh, main, in the main chat and in the testimonials, if you wouldn't mind? There's two channels. You can copy and paste it in there, please, if you wouldn't mind. Jorge, just wrote me a note in the Mojo Room because he's listening to the show. One of the eleven. Thank you. If you build, if you if you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to build theirs. Yup. You can't do AMD, Tom, because it's not green. It won't Heinz. You understand? It's simple, dude. It's so fucking simple. That's it. Done. Here's Jorge. Mike, as you said, I'm back with you because this is the best day trading room. I'm Doing again Mojo University in order to regain trust and knowledge. Once I finish Mojo University, I'll start sending my daily journals and trades in order to get an every day better and better. I'm in the right room with the right people. Thank you, Jorge. Like that. Boom. Awesome. Ah, so beautiful. My boys. Those boys are beautiful down there. And dudes, you know, the guys that have their dogs now and their pets on their YouTube, wonder where you got that from, huh? You like how I do that? Again, the norm for the Moj. Leading the way. Yes. <laughs> you don't believe me? Go back to my videos. Let's see Major, because I miss Major, man. You guys miss Major, huh? I miss Major. Let's see if we can find a video on Major. I feel all sad. My boy. Here in 2016, this one came up. Oh, there you go. Look. There you go. Jason Bond. Him, Jeff, they all do the same template. Look, 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 look. There's nothing on the screen. He's trading. Look. Look, there's nothing on the screen. There's no platform or anything. He's just sitting there going like this. Holy shit. Dude, that's what you're buying, bro. A bunch of fucking fluff. Option traders lose 9 out of 10 times when you buy options. Who's winning? The person who sold it to you. So if you're a seller of option premium, you'll make money nine out of 10 times. If you buy options, you'll win one out of 10 times. So let's place 10 trades, $1,000 each. I'll lose nine grand and I'll make nine grand on my one or five grand on my one and I'll lose four grand or be even on my account. There's no freaking way you are being an options trader and making a freaking fortune. There's no way you're making money. Otherwise, I'd be trading options. It doesn't work. Time value is against you. Contago everything. Okay? These guys are doing it on ETFs that have Contago. How come they never tell anybody what Contago is? 
Who in the Mojo room doesn't know what Contego is? Who doesn't know what Contego is? Let me show you what Contego is. Right here. For investors that use ETFs, warning, watch out for Contego. The growth and adoption of ETFs by retail investors allowed them to access a wide range of assets. Okay? Look, funny word, big issue. For investors wanting to own ETFs to use futures contracts, they better get to know the concept of Contego. By definition, Contego occurs when the price of the futures is above the extra, and these things are rolling every week, so you're freaking done, okay? By definition, Contego occurs when the price of the futures contract is above the expected future spot price. It creates an upward sloping curve for the future commodity prices over time. So it's like having a stock with a hundred pound elephant on your back, a thousand pound elephant on your back. You ain't going anywhere, dude. You're crawling. Commonly, the reason behind the phenomenon may do the desire of people to pay a premium to have the commodity in the future rather than paying the cost of storage and carry costs of buying the commodity. It's known as contago in commodities. It's a normal occurrence and investors need to understand that it isn't a bad thing. It, the effect has little effect on returns if an investor is going to purchase an individual futures contract, hold them till expiration or trade them. However, depending upon some ETFs, contago can cause losses for the fund. ETFs based on only current prices, read about Contego, bro. It's bad. As you can see, commodity ETFs slowly buying the future contract for the next month can lead to losses. Right there. The concept of Contego shouldn't prevent you from adding commodities to your portfolio. Much like the ETF industry, they're always changing and innovating. You can't win. You got time value against you. You got Contego against you. You got the market trading against you. You got everything volatile up and down that changes so fast. It's all crazy. You can't win buying options. Can't. ASNS, new high, 368. Boom. That's what Contego is. UVXY has had Contego for a long time. And they always go down. Big time. Big time. They don't tell you about Contego. LOB 1895. Boat leaving the dock, baby. LOB 1895. 1880, Heinz 19 and 20, order going in, boat leaving the dock, boom, thank you very much, Mojo Day Trading. LOB, news is out, orders going in, high frequency computers, it's going. Look, told you, $19. Boat leaving the dock, Live Oak Bank shares, fucking nuts. Isn't that shit crazy? Catch the dip, boom, firm enough. There's something big going on with this something. Something's going on. LOB coming off the bottom, looking like INPX. This guy right here accumulated a lot on that day and a lot on that day. He's going to get paid. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm excited. <coughs> This chart pattern is exactly, exactly Renteria and everybody else in the room that's participating now. What is this chart exactly like? What is it? Correct. It's identical. You want to see? Look. Let's go back. There it is. Right there. So let's compare the two, shall we? You have a flat, a suck out little V, and the big spike. And then after the big spike, a little bit of sideways, and then you get your explosion. So let's see 
if that one right there is the same as this one. So one's LOB. Right here. Oh, I love doing this. Boom, there's LOB. And when I'm right, it pays off. There's no risk. The risk is so small. Low risk, high reward. So your risk is what? There's a baseline here. There is no risk. You got this guy accumulated right here with a little bit of a suck out right there before it went up right there. But this one, I'm expecting to come up here like this. And I'm going to compare that. Two, one, RGSE. Look at that shit, huh? All right, so we got this baby <clears throat> right here and this baby right here. Same time frame. Look, first bar in November with a down thing, okay? All of a sudden, it goes here afterwards, and then boom, okay? So right here, and you have this little suck out right there before it makes its move. So right here you have this little suck out. And now, boom. It just took a little bit longer to the right. This thing is a little bit longer than this thing. But hey, look at that thing. This guy accumulated for some reason right here like this guy accumulated for some reason right there. And now all of a sudden volume bars will start to come in over here like volume bars start to came in over here which in before that, all over here, there was no history and nothing, just like it was there. Only thing different is this area is not flat compared to that area, but that spike down there is the same. So if you put all this together, you got the Derby 500. Monster truck there. And then you got the dragster down here. Three cars. Ripping. So that's, what my, that's my analysis right there. What do you think of that analysis? That's pretty good analysis right there. See that analysis? It's pretty good. If you looked at you, you're like, what the hell is that? But that's pretty damn good. I should post that on the, sh on the, um, on social. For today's show, I'll save that photo. Oh, this is a pa one of my paintings. I used to do a lot of good paintings. If I have a paintings folder. do on my uh, Mojo day trading website. Roku Heinz 40, guys. Roku just went, guys. I got Roku now. I've lost track. Oh, paintings. Mojo paintings right here on the bottom. Take a look at a couple. This is UVXY Pro Trader Mike on January 27th, number 76. This is uh, painting number 76. It's worth $3,000. It's a kid on a bike right here riding his bike right here, screaming up some dirt market, 
Maker Shaker Audio, UVXY, right here, Pro Trader Mike. Let me show you this one. Whoops, sorry. So this right here, you have a $3,000 painting, UVXY, Pro Trader Mike on January 27th. Painting number 76. It's a Maker Shaker Audio right here. It's got a guy, a kid riding his bike right here, burning up some rubber on his bike. Beautiful little painting. Number 76 right there. Painting 75. This is a picture of, looks like a shark. Um, bu -bu -bu. Pro Trader Mike UVXY Payday, $10,000. That's a Patience DGAS type two day nugget run. Uh, this actually is a, if you look at it, it's a shining trade play. Sucked everyone out here. Spit, boom and boom. Really nice. Here's one on 1212 Aspen, skiing up in the mountains. This is the mountain right here. Nice Aspen Mountain. And this is the, uh, you go right here, made my, you walk in right here into the, uh, uh, this is the uh, gondola and the chairlift. And right here, the chairlift takes you up. And right here, did beautiful in this Mojo Nose right there. I gotta like that. And there's another my, nice painting, painting number 71. Right there, buy, right there, no trade, all that great stuff. What's this right here? That's someone's mouth, maybe. Painting $69,000, retail, Pro Trader Mike, seven day, SFTD, DGFM. See you, feel, and trust, because I'm a, don't give a fuck, because I'm a motherfucking hustler. And then we bought one, two, and three. Sold one, sold two, and this is the A, B, C, D pattern that they tell you to buy up here, uh, and we're selling into you. So your window right here of profit is about this much, and your risk of loss is freaking tremendous. That's the A, B, C, D pattern. Another one. Painting 66, looks like a hamburger. Two hour, hundred percent move on Fomojo, going in outer space right there on Gene G E N E into outer space on eleven twenty nine of two thousand and sixteen. That was my painting for that. So I got some cool paintings, man. A lot of cool ones. There's a Grateful Dead one, number thirteen. Very cool. MNGA, marijuana move. Look at that one, made $10,000. That's a cool one. Happy Halloween, LABU patch. That's a funny one. $29.50, made $2,000 on October 31st, 2016. Boo. Number 47, Pro Trader Mike. Another painting. These are going to be worth a lot of money one day, dudes. Roku, 4035 with a signal at 40. Great job on Roku, guys. Got to update the swing. All right, so where did I send out? I have a webinar on Friday at 2 o'clock. Link below, you could check that out. Here's the new pick on Roku. 3875 is the cost for the Shining Tray play on Roku or, and or the $43 calls for December. Guys are doing really well on that. So I got Roku at 3875. I'm up 4.05%. I have MGNA at 29 and I have XXII at 270. Did RGSE from 41 to 75 cent. So again, this freaking guy right here, I'm going to show you major, ain't even fucking trading. Bullshit. I learn from seasoned trade Davis Martin. Very good, dude.
Look, now he's trading. Up. Oh. You've turned off ad. Google is not causing based on your data. This ad was shown based on time of day, video you want. Okay, that's great. Look, he's pressing the buttons again, but he's not really. It's like making believe he's trading. Oh, look, the watch he has right on here is different. I can't want from the watch he had a, l a couple of minutes ago on. I think unless that's the Movado. So that's what I notice. Look, there's the other guy. This guy right here also did the same exact video as he did with this template. The same exact shit. How he says he could take little dollars, a couple of hundred, couple of li with options and freaking make money and grow your account. It ain't gonna happen, dude. If it did, I would do options. Option trading doesn't work. Yeah, he's look, look how many people just signed up. He's like, yeah, we're making a fucking fortune on these videos, dude. Keep on bringing in the people. Yeah, thank fucking God right there. Look, he's tra not trading again on his couch. He wasn't trading before on his desk. Now he's not trading. He's making believe again on the laptop. Who fucking trades on their laptop, dude? What if the Wi-Fi goes down? I got to have a hard wire connection, man. I get on there with my dollars. Fucking crazy. Got to know when to hold them, fold them, and walk away. Here's my old day trade room. Excited to take Mojo University and get involved in that. So you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. There's the old room. Day trading room. This is my screen share. So live, you get to see my desktop as I'm trading over my shoulder. As I tell you, every six years ago, buying to sell and what the averages are all along. So we've been buying and selling UVXY 1952 average sold 57 to 60 did today. I used to have these polls. A, uh, that was the only thing that room was good for was an instant poll. Tickets. So 350 is the winner. So I'm 20 off from that and 30 off from that. Congrats. How many tickets? 300. Let's see. How many people took that poll? 200, 300, eh, only 10 people. Still lame. So on UV, it's 55, see, I'm showing the trades. That's what you got to do. Orders going live in there. How you do it exactly. Where's Major? Look, Jason right here behind my head. See, look. Look, there he is. Add again. Look, add again. Up top. You can't get away from these guys. <clears throat> Look at that. Build 175, bid 174 right now. Done. I bought 75. That's me a thousand. <clears throat> See, look, their ads up here, and their ads right here. It's like <clears throat> fucking killing me with that shit. this morning when we sold it. A lot of times earlier we fold that stem, but now we we're up. Do I trade futures? Yeah, dude, you trade everything with the as long as it trades a price, you could trade it, bro. SQ, I traded right here below from twelve fifteen into twelve fifty right here. So let's delete these three. Let's see if major's here. Right here. Did that here. Every big spike is when Mike sold sold his last couple. So here's the jump up to sixty. Nope, I don't got major. So stems moving once. I wish Major was on there. I could find them, but I can't. Oh well. Go back and look at an old video. My calls were kept in a different window. Yeah. That was a little better too. <clears throat> but they were older calls. Once you're done with the pick, who cares, dude? It's all just for fluff. That room also costed $600 a month. $6,000 a year that room costs. Fucking rip off.
when all these free chats are out there. And I told them, dude, Discord's coming out. You're going to lose fucking business. If you don't give me a lower shit, they're like, fuck that. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I was the first guy to have Discord. Me and Ascend Trading, they're gamers. And I knew from following that industry that that shit was going to be good. Let's go back into 2016. So 2015. That ain't working. March 2015 swing trade newsletter results. Done 1,700 videos. Jump to page 7. Let's jump another page 10. Let's see what the dates are here. I'm in February of 2018. Where we go here? 2017. The Gonzo trade play right there, guys. You want to know what the Gonzo is? Watch that video right there. Right there. This is private. My swing trade newsletter. It's a newsletter that goes out every Sunday. There you go. And I have the archive, right? The, the Dow Jones, the daily high lows, what it's doing for the day. The open trades, current quarterly earnings. Think the trend is your friend. You'll do good. So see that? So I have the same course, teaching. After the basic principles are like this. In a stock like Applied Opti Electronics, I circle in green all of the letters. You want to learn about swing trading? This course is $1,500 in Mojo University. Maybe I'll give it to someone for the holidays. The current earnings are right here. We used to trade at $65 a share. Plug went to 11. It's undervalued. There's not much. From 50 cents. Before. Watch. 11. And on 517, the stock went from 24 cents. We added right here on this big volume bar, and it went to 1174. If you would have invested just $2,500 for 10,000 shares when I put out the pick, it turned into $117,500. That's how you turn small money into big. $15,000 profit on one stock in a very short period of time. Now you have this pick. Same thing. Why is it in pink? Because it's yummy. It's called Sky People Fruit Juice, and I put it out on Mother's Day right here on May 15th. For April of 2015. The earnings are coming out in May. I picked it on March 24th of 2015. Man, I was good looking then. Okay. So old now. Well, they did a 70, a 16% increase. Watch what this stock did. Then they did a uh, 79, and they went from 34 million to 40 million. They went from, from 11. To 40. What if they went 50 next quarter? That would be huge. Versus this 11. 11. And then 12. So they went 11, 12, 35, and 40. Well, what are they going to do next? 50. Duh. 50. And they did. And that's what they did. And the stock went from right a here. Dollar so 50. Dollar 50 through this dollar 64 target. Look what it Side did. Side people fruit juice. It paid mommy. Look what it did. It went 12, to 22. But 22. the first original spike went right to 14. <laughs> So Look at that. This stock for five thousand dollars invested on four thousand shares turned into fifty six thousand dollars, and you made a fifty one thousand dollar potential profit on this stock on the huge spike because it had all of the Ken Slim characters. Here's Dry Ships. Now Dry Ships has been a swing pick multiple times. On this day right here. We picked it on 721 of 17 in the swing and in the day trading as soon as the market opened right there at $1.50.
So if you were to put $7,500 into this pick, right here, just for 5,000 shares, by the end of the day, you made 21,000 potential profit. It went to 20, went right here to 380. Celebration, this is what we do. Right here was a $44,000 profit verified in, in the swing trade. So I picked stocks for you besides on Sunday that could make interday moves every day is a money making day. On Friday, this was October 20th. See what I'm giving away. One payment, 497. Wow. Including everything comes to eight. Dude, I taught this in 2005. Wow, for 497. What a gift. 85% off. What a gift. Two payments. What a gift. $100 more. Your best bet is four. Wow, that was such a gift. Wow. It's a good video, man. I'm glad I just researched. I'm going to save this video. I'm going to use that video. I'm going to recopy that video. That's a good one. Try to find that webinar. It's a good webinar. Shit ain't worth four ninety. That shit's worth fucking huge dollars. Maybe for the holidays I'll do the... Uh, I'll do that for special. Become your own analyst. Yeah, become your own build analyst. Your own build your own portfolio. portfolio. Be your own money maker. And provide a better life for your family. With yeah, the man. I was teaching that live. On Tuesday. Sick. The 14th in Mojo University. I got that. That's the course I this got live. right here, which I'm doing today. Yep. Amazing. Let's see how many people signed up. I had a lot of people sign up. A couple. Now nobody does. This is when I first started doing these videos. You could see this was in uh, 2017, October. Since then, they've copied that webinar template because it comes from Russell Brunson from ClickFunnels, and everyone uses the same shit. It's amazing. But yeah, there you go, bro. Amazing swing trading. So every month, I have all my picks here on the bottom. March for five years. Very cool. Some big changes coming for Mojo, man. In 2019, I'll lead the way. What I'm doing is going to take people two years to follow. But it's okay. They'll follow. Taking me a long time to build it, what I got going on. Yep. Selling options and puts is too risky. No, buying options is too risky.
Roku new high a day. Forty seventy five. Roku new high a day. Forty seventy five. Headed to forty one. Great pick for the options and for the uh, for the long and the covered calls. Great job, everyone. You sold the put, bought the stock, and did the covered calls. You're winning on the triple threat strategy. Very nice. Basically, what we did is real easy. We bought a thousand shares. Well, let's say you bought a hundred shares. A hundred shares of Roku at, uh, let's say, thirty-eight uh, for thirty-eight hundred. Sold. One put of the thirty eight for a dollar fifty, hundred and fifty dollars, and then you uh, sold one call the uh, forty three two, which you can get right now, and that's two hundred dollars. Right there. So if the stock on expiration is above 40, you sell at 43 and you own here is $500. So this covered call gets executed. You sell at 43 and you keep the 200. So you make $500 on the stock profit from 3,800 to 43. And you keep the two, and then this put expires worthless, and you keep the 150. So you made a total of $750 on 3,800 locked in, and that's 750. 100 is 19.7% return in 30 days. 19.7. How it works. You do 100 shares at 38. You bought it for 3,800. You sold one put at 38 for $1.50 for 150 dollars, and you sold one covered call at 43 strike for two dollars for 200. Should on expiration, if it's above 40, you'll get it called away at 43 from 38 is 500 dollars, right here. And then another $200 you get for the covered call, and another $150 for the put is a total of $750. Well, the triple threat strategy. It's $4070. ASNS new high, $375 on ASNS. Monster move on ASNS today in the Mojo Day Trade Room, picked right at the open. And the reason why, you could see here Mojo for another day in a row is the GG Hulk combination. So you have the GG and the Hulk combo. And right here at 1115, it went higher. Okay. So that right there goes in the Mojo Day Trade Room. Right there. Same as the one yesterday. So two days in a row, Mojo. Here's the one yesterday on ALQA right here at 5.05. Why did that make the same exact move? Because it's the same exact pattern. Hulk GG combination. See my little thing right here? Called the Hulk GG right here at 11.15. It moves higher. Same thing right here. Here's the boom. Hulk GG, 11.15, moves higher. Yo, my Jets, what are you doing, brother? One thing, you can't come in and your name has been called in the, um, in the lobby a lot of times, dude. 
My Jets, your room is ready. My Jets, your room is ready. Come to the front desk, please. Go for it, Tom, as long as it's green, brother, and it hasn't come from downtown. F-E-Y-E, -E. let's see what your eye is on the uh, F-I. It's come from 1950, it hasn't really started. I think I love it with a $20 signal at 475, you're a monster. That's how you make money, you only need one or two of these a day, dude. Nice job. Nice job. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Do I do personal mentoring? It depends. Join the room first. Talk about it. I have a master's program for $10,000. I have one spot left. I've had three people sign up this year. Actually, I was gonna take five. I have two spots left. On a master's pro, gives you lifetime membership for everything from Mojo University and my life, as long as we're trading together for a lifetime. And you get to trade with the firm and get a tuition rebate back for $10,000. He's gonna do a webinar tomorrow. Yep, you, right in the link below is a link to my webinar. I should just play the video for that other one I just did. That was a good webinar, man. Sit back and just watch that other video I just did. That was some video, man. Some video. potential profit that went to it's a hundred triple.com after you get better i'll spend the time with oh i gave a bum mentor bonus program too four of them swing i give you one wow five hundred dollars of the day trading for live you swing trading course and you will have the last course that was already in there it's so you good already watched that one it's before. so good it's in there now this is you can go back. Oh, dude. I See, I was the first one doing this shit, dude. This is it. It's old now. Everyone does it now. It's amazing. That was a good video, man. Roku 4081 new high. I almost died this morning. Yeah, on... Holy shit, on TNXP. I almost died. Yeah, almost died this morning on that. I think it's time to go uh, give the boys a little treat. Go for a little walk outside. It's so nice out. I'm doing a webinar tomorrow. I think I'm going to take the doggies outside. A little uh, magic, magic tinkle. Go to the bathroom. Come back. Raids. I'll be live. I ain't going nowhere.
Boys want to wake up? Go for a walkie? Go outside? We make a new pot of coffee.
Back to work, boys. Back to work, boys. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Roku doing good today. Beautiful. I eighty one. Love that. Okay, let's see what we have on the crypto side. I gotta check my cryptos. Bitcoins at oh nice 43 hundo. I got only a couple. I only got a little bit in Coinbase. Let's see what I got. 3179 at 4323. Go to my journal. I miss my journal. Okay. I had a 33.25. And I said, look, I should have sold, but there was a $50 fee to do it, so I hesitated. And now it's $200 different, so I should have done it. It was 33.25 I had at 4,311 on the uh, Bitcoin. Then it went to 42.74. I was 32.94. So, I, but I sent. Uh, I had 2.2 million micro Bitcoin. I added 85 dollars. I took out 85 dollars of profit and 68 dollars of profit, and I have 3.06 million uh, micro Bitcoin worth 1,500. And if that thing goes to uh, nine, ten, and twenty, I got six grand in that. And then I got 3127. I took out another 145 and sent that to Binance and some profits to trade, which I'm doing in Binance. And then now I got uh, 3026 at 4115. And now I'm at 3178 with 4323. 3178. And I'm at. 4323 on the uh, Bitcoin. I saw this thing on the golf channel yesterday. Check out my other. Snow Jam. Tiger Woods chart on the world ranking. It's just like Bitcoin. I'll do a show you a little comparison. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Oh, they gotta have a fucking chart. Give me a chart. Chart on Tiger is the same as the. Uh, do I have one on my desktop? Let me see if I saved it on my desktop. I'll see what Snow Gems the other one's doing. Oh, Snow Gems spiked to the fucking top. Wow. Look what Snow Gem did, dude. <laughs> Loving it. Because I'm mining Snow Gem. So here's Tiger Woods ranking over all time. It looks like Bitcoin, don't it? See? So you got Bitcoin made its first move, okay, and then it made a historic move to 19,000. And then, you know, it's back down to uh, right here. That's Tiger Woods' ranking over world time. This is not Bitcoin. This is Tiger. Okay. And then Tiger. Right here, here's his world ranking graph. So you could see. You 
you know, Bitcoin it made its historic rise. Now, made it historic down. Okay, now look at them. This is 2015. Okay. You look at his points over time from 1997 until now. Now here's Bitcoin. Started at nothing and went to 19,000. Okay. And now it's back pretty much where it started. That's Tiger. It's not Bitcoin. It's Tiger Woods it's world rankings chart. And this is Tiger Woods, you know, no major loss for Tiger. You know, he was right here in 1997. Historic rise to Bitcoin right here, you know, and he's lost and now he's back down here. Okay, in 2016. See? Now look at him from 2015 until now. I saw it on the Golf Channel yesterday. Images. Golf Channel. I saw it on TV last night. Tiger Woods. Ranking chart. Just imagine if it came up, that'd be nice. Nope. If I could find it. I got to show you a chart on this. This is the shit right here. See all this? <clears throat> Just recently. It's got to be, uh, you know, very, very uh, news. Let's see. See, this was the hero channel. This was a with the nine million the nine the um, the match. <clears throat> so they bet more on the first hole. He bet a hundred thousand that he birdied the first hole. I want to make birdie on the first hole without missing a beat. Woods du double up. Mickelson froze only for a second, but then he did. Nine million dollars. They had the money on the field. I don't know if you ever saw you saw that picture. But here's the article right here. One graph will make Tiger Woods fit. No, that's not it. This may be it. Where's the chart? I'll draw it for you. How about that? So, Tiger Woods. Nice to meet you. Came on the golf scene. And took her up to 19,000. 
And from there, had a couple of injury number one. Injury number two. Lost cheating on his wife. And now you got uh, 2015. And Tiger Woods is out of the game. Now, let's bring in 2016. And he makes him a star. 2017. 2018. Tiger Woods is ranked like number four in the world. He's made a historic comeback. The spike from here to here is incredible. It's like the shining trade play. He's spitting, vomiting, and murdering everyone. That ass, somebody. He's climbed a ridiculous 1,173 spots in the world, ranking in eight months. Tiger Man. <clears throat> He's the fucking bomb, dude. I knew that first time he came back, even though he shot bad, he shot a 66 one day. I said, dude, you don't shoot no 66 unless you got game. Snow gem doing good. May transfer in some snow gem. I got some Ethereum. That's what I'm in now. I got 2.7 Ethereum. I'm buying it right down here. Look. See this right here? I'm buying it. For it to stop, bounce up, suck everyone out from all up in here, and then go right back up. This is a cool exchange because look, I can take a picture. Watch. Right here. And I could save the image and copy it. Okay. Save the image. I can just copy it. Just like that. And throw it right in that paint. I think it's going to fly right back up. Did this little dip down right here. Gonna pop right back up like that. So I got some Ethereum. That's what I got in the wallet. Send over some mining the hell out of Snow Gem. Open up. I love the wallet. There's a beautiful wallet. Nice GUI wallet. You don't know what the hell GUI is? Let me show you what a GUI wallet is, okay? Good. At least I can give you education every time on the show. Okay? This is a GUI wallet. I mean, they, they all have them. Okay? They all have wallets. I, everyone has a GUI wallet. I want to show you what is a GUI wallet. It's basically their wallet. A graphical user interface. The wallet application. Okay? And that's what Snow Gem is. I have 258 Snow Gem. <clears throat> Here's my mining. I get around three to four Snow Gem. Every cut three minutes. A minute, a minute. Every minute. Four minutes. Seven minutes. Same minute. Eight minutes, four, five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. Look, eight coins, three. They all add up. And I'm up 4% mining it. So now I'm going to take it, <clears throat> sell these coins, and put it into something that's going to go up 20%. Watch. So I go into send coins, send max 244. Now I gotta go get that wallet address. Out of here. No gem. Oh, don't be worried that I'm not showing it. This is my public address. So if you anybody has this address, the only thing you can do is send me Snow Gem. That's it. You can't use this uh, to do anything. my public address I'm sending it there max 252 I just got another eight coins send done success 
So now those coins will show up right here. Not on the Callisto exchange. And that's coming up. See how this is off this bar? It's what I'm expecting Ethereum to do. And just come right up off that bar. And Ethereum right now is 20, right on my number, 27.7. Right here, so I'm expecting it to come right up off this bar. Right here. Head right up into this little Gapstonians. See, because it used to be up here. Yeah. So let's see, X, this will come into here, into this, and this is Snow Gem. Beautiful. Mining with the snow gem. And this is the micro Bitcoin. Oh, nice. It's four by five now. I'm going to buy some of this. So watch this. Ethereum. This is good. So I'm take this Ethereum right here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to sell it. Um, 2.7, let's sell 1.78. No, let's sell um, 2.7, let's sell 0.78 at the market. 0.78. Oh, hold on a second. So if we sell here and I just put this in, it won't change. Get off this market price. All right, so I sell it at um, there. We're gonna sell. Mm, Two point seven eight. Uh, let's sell point seven eight. There's a buyer right here at that price. We'll hit him. Ready? Sell. Done. So now I should have two even. I do. And now I'm going to go into MBC quickly. And I'm going to click five. Buy. Oh. No, that's not right. Ethereum. Let's just sell this. I'll make more. This was just for uh, safety, really. Let's just sell this too. Done. I'm on the ask. 1.9 left. Sold. So I got zero of that. Now I come back to my micro Bitcoin. And I go five. Boom. 492. Not. That's weird. 449,288. I have an order. Nope. Something's not right. I ain't getting it for four. Son of a bitch.
I just bought that. Now let's go see where those other funds are. Ethereum. O3 Bitcoin. There it is. Oh, I have an it's Ethereum. It's in orders. Duh. I'm like, dude, no wonder why. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I gotta get used to the system. See, I had way more in the Ethereum. Right here, my order's down here. See it? Cancel. I'm like, where the fuck's all my Bitcoin? And cancel. And I got 2.69. I'm gonna freaking just sell it at the market. Doom. Let's go down uh, to here. Boom. Done. Sold. Now watch. I'm like, duh. That's what I wanted to do the first time. See all these fives? Buying 898,000 of them. Watch. Boom. Bought. Now I got three. There's 51 people on the bid for 4.8 Bitcoin. And then, so there's 10 Bitcoin right here. And right now here on the ass, there's no Bitcoin. Then it goes back to six. And as soon as they take that, then it start, then they'll start to roll. What I'm expecting right there. Can't believe I'm able to buy it for five. I love it. Now everything that I do. Do I still have more left? Hold on. Yeah, I can buy more. Another 587,000. I'll put it in at four. 733,000. I ain't gonna get filled at four. I'm gonna buy him at five. Another 587,000. Done. Now I got 3.8 million micro Bitcoin. Done. See, that was me right there. Take them fives. When the shit's at 10, be like doubled. Then it touches 11, boom, right to 19. It's already been up there once. Once it touches the top of that 19 right here, this is 16, gone, new level. It used to be up right here to freaking really high. One time it traded up here to 25. Imagine that. That would be unbelievable. So when Bitcoin keeps on going back up, what's it at? 4,300 and 27. Last week, very nice. Caught it off the shining down here. Now it's spitting on the people that bought it up here. Vomiting, it hasn't done the murder yet. Once it's like 47, four, testing 5,000, people will be like, shit, I fucking sold it down there at 3,700. I'm a freak. Rank 358. Look, see, they're all doing this. All no risk, and they're all coming up, bro. Talent, look at this. New, new one right here. Love it. I may even mine it. Ink Labs Foundation. Let's see what you guys do. And I'll show you what I did with the Tron last night. What's up, Mr. Remington? Why don't you come on in and sit down, buddy? No? I guess the page don't want to load up. Show you what I did with Tron last night. Nice job, Mike. So here's what I did. I'm going to keep start trading this a little bit more often. I did a little test last night, and I'll be live streaming as well. So here's a move on TRX, which is Tron. 
at 34. Gonna catch this dip down and ride that shit back up. Watch. So here's the bids. There's at 38, there's a lot. So you wanna get 39, 40, and 41 and ride that shit up to 48. Watch. It's already up at 14, up 22%. And then they come in and they go, look, 38, 39, a million comes in. And they're gonna take the 43, 40, and they take that shit up. And look, it did. They took a million nine came in and went 46, 47, and they started taking that. And that was a beautiful trade right there. See, 48, 49. That was a nice trade last night on Tron. See it? And then this guy came in right there, 46 with 4.2 million. I watched him and boom. And then this one's going to mini Heinz from, uh, this is a, a TRX right here. Going through the 50, you can see it, 49.50, they're coming up, and that's it. So we did that one, and then you have this one, big move. Look at the moves these things are making, man, doing some nice trading on MTL. And this one right here, I bought, touched 11, goes right to 19, expecting just like what micro Bitcoin's going to do. Right there, you could see it. You could see that right there. I mean, the crypto's coming alive. Anybody thinks crypto's dead or GPU mining's dead, you haven't been uh, following the mojo or seeing what I've been doing because it's, it's not. I've been hitting winners on the crypto, hitting winners on everything. I got that baby going. Nice. Thanks, Chris. So, Inc. Website, yeah. Inc. One Creative Minds Deserve. is a set of blockchain solutions based on global cultural industry. What the hell does that mean? I have no idea. It's confusing. And it's in Chinese, so forget about it. Forget about it. But they have a wallet. So that's ink. So there's the micro Bitcoin. Love that I have 3.8 million now. Let me gotta write that down. See, I went from 3 million. Now I changed that number to 3 million. 807. 262 and I should have some coins come in there now from M snow gem that I mined not yet but in a couple minutes I'll have those coins pop in sell them babies what did I already sell those babies maybe send over some more fucking coins yeah I sent over 252 coins now I could send over another 13 send over 13 more done Sell some more, buy some more, it's the best. If you guys aren't doing that with your GPU mining, you're missing the boat. Did that with Raven. So if you look at the Raven in September. You know, if you wanna see my mining logs, I'll show you, but not necessary. I was the t top miner in the world on Raven. Sold Raven up into the top right there. Mined it all in September right here when it was down. Nothing. Pigeon followed it. Raven, Pigeon. They all do. Let's see with the crypto mining calculator. Most profitable coin to mine with a 1080 Ti. Time coin and Minex. Minex coming back over a dollar. I knew it would Heinz a dollar. It was 89 cent. I knew it would go 90 cent and a dollar. Minex is a coin that's strictly for miners and ASIC resistant. It's done nice in the last seven days. See how it went from 80 down here? It did the shining. 
I'm like, it's going to go nine, and it did. Look, exactly did. It's exactly what, it's, what I said it's going to do. Amazing, dude. I love this fucking Heinz. Love the Heinz. Show you the website. Minex, good operation, bro. They have a card, too, but whatever. I don't use that for the card. Get Minex in three clicks, Minex coin, to buy it. But I like you can mine it right here on buy it on Exmo Livecoin. And so after you mine it on Supernova, you can flip it over to Livecoin, Exmo, or Coin Exchange to dump it. And buy Micro Bitcoin or another one. It would stay in that one if you like it. And do a split to go up and you have a little portfolio of 10 of these really good ones, man. Suka, S U Q A, another good one. And it gives staking on Suka. Another good ASIC resistant GPU only coin, Suka, right there. You can also look at Gollum and Sonam for rendering. Lots of things you can do with the graphics cards, bro. Let me show you my video update from yesterday. Where's my mind? My mine and farm update from yesterday. 29th. I added that from yesterday. November. How come it's not in there? I added it yesterday. Look at that. When I had 17,000 souls and I had one, two, three, like... Just a couple of miners, bro, when it all started. Where, where is that one? I just had that last night. Check it out. Right here. Got to add it to the moment. It's not in there. Hey everyone, here's a Mojo Mining Farm update for end of November, beginning of December 2018. These are exhaust fans. There's a hot spot that comes off the side of these mining rigs, and that 8 inch exhaust fan sucks in that hot air through these tubes into the other warehouse on the other side of that wall. So I have one warehouse here, another one on the other side of the wall. And from there, it takes it and exhausts it outside through the back. Awesome. And you can see along the bottom, see how the tube goes along, that goes along the whole base of the warehouse. And it sucks it from another exhaust fan on the other side. So this it's amazing what I have configured. If anybody needs help configuring a mining farm, just ask me. Again, on my mining rig, symbols X, S, G. Mining the snow gem. And you can see the two goes all the way along the floor to the other side. And I got five mining rigs per rack. This one that's out, is I'm working on. I got a uh, this. What happened was the top one. They're all mining snow gem. This rack. This one. What happened was Mark. You may be intro of one of you guys that are miners. <clears throat> the fan wasn't spinning anymore. W what was that? It must have gotten too hot, and all the lead paste was gone. So I took off the fan, threw on another one, lickety split, took out the ram, sh it was shut that, put the ram in a new slot, kicked the baby back on, ching, fixed. And now I am uh, uh, replacing, what is that I have to replace on there? That's why it's out. No, well, I, that's why it was out and I fixed it. And then there's another one over here, five, that also I can't get to start up. It just spins. It doesn't start up, so I got to replace something on there i'll figure it out no ac running now because it's so cold i love it 
You can see, see this button lighting up down here, the red button? That means it's working. See it right there, that little red button? There's a green one next to it showing you it's on, but when this shit's moving, you can know it's working because that shit blinks. See it? See the green? I know it's on. Once it starts bringing in some computing, it'll turn red. Look at the temperatures. 60 degrees, 67 degrees Celsius, 57 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Celsius, doing 45 solutions per second, graphics card zero, which is the first one, the second one, the third one. There's seven graphics cards on here for a total of 323 solutions per second. Every time you see the green, it means accepted share, that in 31 milliseconds, this order detected on the New York in the void pool, order F4D9 on the blockchain, I scored a little bit of that VIG. Okay. Fifty-nine, fifty-nine. Look at those temps. Love that. Love that blue LED. Fan. They're all custom rigs that I built myself. Gigabyte ten seventy TIs. Snow gem. So what I said was, since I'm mining Snow Gem, selling it, putting it into micro Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some other coins, if you guys aren't doing that, you're mining just Ethereum, it's not profitable anymore. You gotta move off the coins that aren't profitable and shimmy shake around and do what I'm doing where coins are going up 20% as you're mining them, selling them, and then putting, holding some a little bit and then putting some into some other coins that then go up 20% to 50% or 100% as well. Look at this one. Same, detected New York order. The same one, CFD. They're all working on the same orders. So I control. I'm the largest miner on the entire pool in the world. Any coin that I go to on the pool, I'm the largest GPU miner in the world. There's only one or two guys in the world that are bigger than me on, with my size. And they're, I don't know what they're doing, but... The bigger guys than me, that they can't go on these coins. There's no liquidity for them. Six, 10, 20, 30 grand's good for me. Those guys need hundreds of grand, so they can't mine this shit. They gotta stay on Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, and it's not very profitable. You can't mine Loki and freaking all that shit. Look at the big fans just blowing air. It's so blowy in there. So, so that was on that. So Minex is a good coin. Most profitable coin to mine with a 1070. Plus one, Agena, Orbit, Zero. Same names up there, Aurelium. Here's Loki, Guncoin. BitTube was up there yesterday as number one for 1080 TIs. Intense Coin, there's Minex, Amixel, Dash, and Puxcoin. Dash will make a move. 98. And you got uh, Petcoin right here. Electronium. GoBite. Suncoin, Snow Gem right there. That's my Snow Gem, see? Raven right there. Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum, Gravium, Music Coin, Creative Coin, Ethereum Classic, Lux Coin, Bro Fist Coin, Z Coin, Feather Coin, Bitcoin Private, Simple Bank. You could mine any of these coins with a graphics card. 
Ubik, Turtle Coin, Bitcoin Z, Gin Coin, Iridium, Garlic, Zen, Veggie, Digibyte Stone, Expanse Vote, Komodo was number one gainer yesterday. Komodo's ripping. Look, look at Komodo. Look what Komodo did yesterday. You think I don't know what the hell's going on, boys? None of you other guys with the GPUs have any background in technical analysis or trading or really don't know what you're looking for, but this is what I've been doing for 25 years. So my combination of trading, charts, and technical analysis knowledge, knowing Ken Slim and applying it to the biggest winners of all time in coins has produced me winner after winner after winner. And there's certain characteristics I look for. So if you're interested in that, just contact me. I'll hook you up. Come to my Mojo Day Trade room. That's Komodo. Told you. Look, last seven days. Look at yesterday. It was two days ago. I told you I was watching it. Go back. Look how many coins there are, dudes. There's so many of them. <clears throat> Z Classic, Z Cash, Samoko, Bit Coal. Litecoin Z, Bitcoin Interest, Smart Cash, and Hush. I've mined all these coins. Mm. There's Strax and Crowdcoin. See CRC right here? Look. Here's CRC. Oh, no, that's CLO. That's Clear One Coin. That's on the list, too. It's clear. Mona Coin, Bitcore. So that's another version of Bitcoin. Bitcore. There's like 10 versions, man. Bitcore. The other one's called CLO, clear coin. CLO. Hi, boys. Callisto Network, it's called. It's ranked 428th. It's up 9.6%. I think it's going to make a move. See it? It's just starting. These are the ones that I like. And it's mineable, I believe, as well. Callisto, free and smart contract security audits. And you can mine it right here. Callisto stats block reward 600. Proof of algorithm is a dagger Hashimoto. Compatible with an Ethereum virtual machine block. Reward reduction is 32% every 5 million blocks. Here's all your pools right here. Your explorers, they got a team going. Do it, boys. There you go. There's all the information you need. They're on Discord and everything. There's the Discord. Cold staking. So this is if you uh, stake your coins and you leave it in the wallet, they give you extra coins. You receive interest for holding your coin as a form of passive income on your investment. Love that. You receive 20% of all mining rewards per block distributes this amount to cold stakers. So I may start doing this Callisto because I've been watching it here on the exchange. It's starred, one of my favorites, and it's coming up right here. I think it comes right back up into this middle range right up in here. It's a fucking no-brainer. XSG, I got 266 of them in there. Take here at the market, freaking put it down here at the market, freaking dumping them all. Bon, done, sold. Coming back here to micro Bitcoin, let's take a look. Four by, four by six now, there's no bid at five. Now someone's buying it at six with no five bid. I'm five bid. This is how I did it at three. Take here, change it to five. Put in this, I can buy 47,000 coins. I'm the bid right there, look, 47,000. Right there, 569, Mojo's the bid. Now let's come down here and see the order's coming through. They're buying, if someone's just clipping 1,000, it's six, 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 look at that. Someone's just bink, 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 bink. I've seen that before when it was at seven. See that? I could stick it out there. I don't want to sell it at six. See that? Let's see if someone hits me at five. I'm the only bid. So exciting. I'm like in the freaking Bitcoin. And this is freaking, you know, for educational and 
purposes and everything's high, you know, fake of what I do. But if you want to believe that, go fucking right ahead. If not, subscribe to my damn channel below. Give me a thumbs up because I'm the only one doing this live, showing you damn everything. Because I'm fucking real deal, baby. Show you another one I'm looking at. I'll share it with you. Because I'm a nice guy. It's called Bitcoin One Exchange. See, it's breaking out right here. 0 0.0028 by 0034. There's one and one. This is when I started on micro Bitcoin. It was like that. There was only one quantity there. See it? You're welcome. Enjoy. Let's see what. Uh, we can go 2.9. I'll bid 2.9. I'm the bid right there. Order created. See? Look, I'm the bid. Only one there. Gotta love that. XSG, I got none. But some coins are coming in. Micro Bitcoin. They're still buying it at six. Look at that. And I'm the only bid. Well, now there's more on top of me. But they're buying it on the ask. And I'm the only bid. Now there's, yeah. See, they're buying a thousand out of See, look at them go up and do that. Look at them. Clipping. Just click, a thousand, boom. There he goes again, a thousand, boom. Look at that. He'll do it again. It'll keep on going. Look, he does it again and again and again. It's like a fucking machine. It is a machine. Look, it'll do it again. Just keeps on doing it. And then someone will come in and say, oh, no one's buying, and they'll hit the bid. You see that? Look, he just keeps on doing it. And then someone will come in and hit the bid. So cool. I've watched UVXY come from $54 to $48. It fell $6. You want to see? Look. UVXY. It fell from $57 to... Oh, it's only fell $2 now. It looked like TVIX. They fell from the sky. Now I could send 42 more coins I've just mined. Over. Send. Success. 42 more coins sent. Dashboard. Go to none. Transaction. Sent. 42. Done. Dashboard. None. Ugh, I love mining. Buying. And I'm making money 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. All day, all night, the machines are just running and mining coins that you can't really buy. I'm getting coins. When I'm mining, guys, keep in mind, why don't you just buy? Because when I mine, I'm getting it on the bid. They're giving me the coin at cost here, nothing. So all I got to do is sell it up here for a beautiful profit. <clears throat> it's a fucking no-brainer. There you go. I just got filled. Just got filled. See, it just went four or five. So awesome. Now my coins of XSG that come over, when they come in, I'm going to sell them and buy that. And then when that goes up 100%, 200, 300, I'll sell that. I mean, how much downside does this micro Bitcoin have? Nothing. Look at the 54 people with five Bitcoin underneath. And then another 54 people. These guys got, that shit ain't going down. I know many people will come in if this shit goes to three and two because all you got to do is buy it at two and sell it back at four for a 100% gain. So awesome. Little penny stock coin.
and I got us and I got regular Bitcoin. So if that makes a move, forget about it. So Callisto's got some cold staking. Let's see, I'll, they'll tell you what it is. Just like I did. There's a little cold staking thing. I don't understand what the hell they're doing, but there's the cold staking one. Hey, what's going on? What would you say about $10,000 worth of Jeep? Would you say about, what would I say about that? I have no idea what your question is. Had my morning wind up? Very good, Papa Pillows. Thanks for asking. Octocoin, it's up 177%. Saw this one the other day. See, right here. That's when I saw it make that move over here. See if I looked at the website. Nope. Ooh, I like their website. Very nice looking coin. Looks like a fake. Lightning Network, POS, proof of stake algorithm. I don't like it. Well, that's a good question. What's the difference between proof of stake mining and proof of work? What's the difference? Prog, proof of work, proof of stake. What's the difference? Anybody know? Don't know. Look, micro Bitcoin five bid now by six. Now they're gonna to start to come in. See? Three point eight five million micro Bitcoin. I love it. Three I gotta write that number down. Three million eight hundred and fifty four thousand. Eight oh eight. <clears throat> Imagine micro Bitcoin goes to a dollar and I get on a, and that's worth three point eight million dollars. Can you fucking imagine that, dude? That can happen. I've seen that. You saw it happen in the beginning of this video when plug went from 20 cents to 11.74, bro. I'm telling you. It can happen. I've seen it. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. What would you say? Would you say that about that? Would I say that about what? Doesn't matter how many GPUs you have, you can have one. Who cares? Uh, let's see here. This guy's buying at six again. Yep, look, he's doing 10 at a time. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Isn't that fucking crazy? Another coin I'm watching, Smart Cash right here, S-M-A-R-T. See it? It's making a nice little move up. Another very nice mineable coin. 
Could have been mining right here and making a nice move up on Smart, S-M-A-R-T. Smart Cash, very amazing coin. Love S-M-A-R-T. Show you Smart Cash. Really nice coin to master node. They give you like a 3,000% gain in a year. If you... uh. Do the master node. Check it out. And it's a good coin. See the chart on that? Low risk, all reward, boys and girls. So now is the time to mine that sucker because there's a thousand percent upside gain. Crazy not to think that GPU mining is going to be is the game of the town, bros. Here's smart cash. Look at this. Beautiful. Incentivized, decentralized, an incentivized, decentralized community. I love this is a real deal company in sight, bro. Miners get 30%, the Smart Hive project, boom, and the structuring team, that. What is the Smart Cash? And this is all the great, look at this, is all real deal, holy mama field, baby. I'm telling you, projects, wallets, mining, do it. Smart Node Monitor Bot, Node Client, the Smart Cash Windows Setup, all the exchanges they trade on. I'm telling you, put your name in for the mailing list. Look at all the languages they have. This is a real deal decentralized asset that could be used worldwide. And you got a smart node hosting right here for businesses dude, to collect money. I'm telling you, here's the smart node hosting right here and how you do it. The setup guide, how much you could make. All how to do it right here. You need 10,000 smart to start your own node. It's like your own business. You need a VPS server. You can get that right through Amazon. A gig of RAM, 20 gig drive, static IP. Pick your time in your setup guide. You need a computer running on a local wallet and 10,000 smart, bro. And you're all set. And you're a smart node. You want to see the calculator? How many nodes do you run? Let's say you want to run two nodes. Okay. Your um, estimated daily reward is 21, 152, and 646 a month, and almost 6,000 smart a year. So let's go to smart and see what 6,000 of them are worth. So if it goes to 50 cents, there you go. 50 cents, where was it here? A year ago. Oh, it was up at $2.40 is the high. Go to 50 cents, easy. It's another one of those great coins, all upside. Show calculator, I thought you got more than that though. So that's not a lot. 6,000? For 10,000, smart. You only make, it costs you 10,000 in collateral and you only make 6,000? Pretty good. I thought it was different last time I looked. Maybe they changed it. Businesses, benefits to merchants. Accepting smart cash stores. This is a fucking real deal, dude. They really spent their shit and put their shit together with this. He's speaking another language, but I'll tell you what he's saying. See that little thing you wear right there? It's an, something you wear on your, on your uh, wrist like a watch. Real easy to use. Wi-Fi compatible. Bluetooth, and you take this, and you're able to go around. It's a payment. It's called an Atar band, <clears throat> and you can go all over the place, and it's like your wallet that holds everything, all in one thing right there called the Atar band. And up, he dropped his little, uh, his puffer. Oh, no, it's his thing. I thought his, he dropped his thing. So there you go. He's opening it up, and that's the future, guys. 
I want to get one. See? You hold your arm right over the payment shit. Done. How fucking cool is that? You're walking around. You're a human freaking bank, dude. Love that. I'm getting one. There's the, like the chip. Takes the money, sticks it right in there. Amazing. Oh. There's his codes. Got two hundred thousand. Got two thousand in them. Moving some money. That's too tight on my head. That's better. It's an older hat, I think. See that smart cash, dude? Going to be used all over the fucking world. <clears throat> How can you not be mining that and buying that? I'm putting that right on my list. Turning some computers on smart. I'm going to mine it. And do a node. To December. You hear that, Mark? And everybody, I'm doing a smart node. Look at his guitar band. But no one here freaking collects that. I can't use it. No, here. Does he have other coins? No, no other. What other coins can you use? Oh, yeah, you can use it for Dash, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Ethereum, Smart, Ripple, oh, all of them. Yep. And you can load the Atar band with Smart. He's loading it from Santander Wallet. Little description he put in of what it was. He put in like 20 bucks or whatever. Look, he walks into the bar. Takes this thing, boom. Love it. Bought this right there. And it shows right in his wallet what he bought. This is the future, guys. It's amazing. I agree with you. Yeah, it's very cool. Great job showing everyone and me translating it for you from your language into mine. Thank you. Good job, dude. Featured merchants. But I want the band. <clears throat> Hotels and lodging, four listings, ten listings. Eventually, these will be. Let's like this is like Monopoly. This is like the internet when there was only like four people taking dot com for that, and you're like, eh, whatever, dude. There's gonna be four thousand here, four thousand here, one hundred thousand. I'm telling you, they're all gonna take it. Amazing. They're all going to take it. Smart cash. You better do it smart. Follow the mojo in 2019. There's no other place to be. XSG. I don't got none in there. Should be getting some in there. Micro Bitcoin has three people on the bid. I'm so happy I jumped on and bought that shit at five. Now it's got a bunch of people coming on in. The guy's still buying 10 at a time, 10 at a time, 10 at a time. Amazing. ASNS went to 392. Roku still 4060. Great pick on Roku. Great pick on that one earlier today. Wasn't in this one. Watched some people in, in one of my competitors' chat room get halt on Adil. A D I L. 
I mean, now it traded 4.5 million, but when he did it right here and it halted, it traded nothing. He probably front run the room again. So I'm holding it for my records. Adel and RLM, two front running gap halts right here that could have been easily front run. See that? 57,000. Him and his partners are in exactly what they need. And then it fucking halts and they're done. And they say I only got 1,000 shares when they got 10, 20, 30,000 shares. And I'm keep on, keep on, keep on them. No, nothing gets by me. It's like I'm sitting there at the fence after school and watching people selling drugs. Like I don't see you hand that shit to that other guy. Yeah, I didn't sell him anything. What are you fucking kidding me, dude? Here's your latest. Sort by date. So, here's your first front run. You fucking busted, brah. Busted. 290,000 shares and you're in this shit with thousands of people in your chat room and service? It's called front running. You burning everyone into destruction at $8. See it? Fives, eight bucks. Halted trading. You know where that stock is right now? And it traded 290. So imagine hundreds of people owning it. And it's in the millions of shares now. And everyone's down from $8. Where is it? RLM? $3. Look, now it's traded 997,000. It's still not even enough to place a trade or do anything. They could drop it all the way down to $3 and with no liquidity. This is an irresponsible. If anybody traded Realm Therapeutics today, you were getting ripped off, front run by a person that told you to get into that stock. And if he only had a little bit, He's lying. He had a lot. And it was bought right here. Look. Boom. 57,000. Do the math. Boom. 28,000. That's 10,000, 20,000 shares between the group of them, just like I told you in the beginning. You'll see that same pattern on all these. Here's the other one. If anybody gave you ADIL, look. See? 75,000 shares in front run. See that? 75,000. See the next one? 75,000. See that one? 20. It's another 100,000. Perfect. Ex almost exactly the same shares. Pretty. You have uh, 75 and 21. So 96,000 were bought. And then you have right here, you have 28 and 57 is 85 and this one's a little bit higher price so that would make sense this one is 220 not same thing but off by 10,000 shares okay and now they're in this one and that shit opens up and they're like yo buy this shit right there 350 360 370 they make a beautiful score and they're like, okay, here we go. And they're on the mind. And boom, that shit reverses. And everyone's caught. Down to 272 from someone that printed 426 in a matter of 10 minutes. Because the stock traded at this particular time, ADIL. Now it's traded 4.6 million. But before it didn't. That was Realm 290. And another one. So I have the other one on. On this one, same fucking thing. It's disgusting. You can give people Roku. Amazing company. A great stock. Limited downside, extreme upside. Look at the daily. 
I caught the first green bar right here. Now that shit's going to go two or three days. Head right back up. Amazing for the Mojo team. Roku. That's the kind of great play. We traded today through 40 and we got in the swing. Doing it on the coin side, doing it on the other side, doing it on every side. You already pay like that with your phone? Awesome. If each rack of GPUs was about 10,000 when purchased. No, each mining rig. I, built, I didn't build a rack. I built each mining rig at a time. I've been mining for two years. A little over two years. Started a long, 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 long time ago. You want to see my first computer I mined with? My Dell. If I have that. Lost a folder of pictures. And my Dell. There it is. This is my first mining computer. Look at that. Look at that, boys. Now, isn't that something cool? I took out the graphics card, which I keep as a relic here on my desk. Right here. <laughs> so this is a 1050. This is a 1050. Or 10, a 750. It comes in, in a Dell XPS that you can buy at uh, Office Depot. See that? And you see this yellow, this wire right here? They put an extra wire in there. Right here. Right there. And you take that and you connect it. It's an extra power supply cord. And you connect it right into a graphics card, like a 1070 Ti, or a 1070 at the time, because there was no 1070 Ti's. This, is, you know, this was the top of the line card at the time. And right there, I'm mining. What am I mining? This pool looks like mining speed. I'm mining Ethereum. See the purple? I'm mining Ethereum on this computer. My first one. And then from there, I threw in another card in my, um, in my other computer to this one. And this is how I was building them right here. Look, right on the floor. I would start right here with one card on the thing, and I'd build them, man. I build them. My first rack in the garage right here. That was my first rack, bro. See that? I had one, two, three, four miners. See all the coins on the back wall and all my boxes? See, here's Genesis Mining. Want to see how much profits Genesis had? Look. Genesis Mining. Do it in, in black. Has the Ant Miner D3. They're making $475 a month on 2,000 units. Total profit, 951000 Total cost of the units was $2.9 million at $450 a unit, giving them 15 giga hash, doing the X11 algo. Total days to break even. I have all that information, too. And then they got the D-Pro, the Pandia, the A5 in silicon, the Ant Miner B9, the L3, the Giant 10 Bacal, the Avalon Cannon, the Hash Tank Boom, the A4 in silicon, and their total numbers on the whole operation. I have all that. Here's a Bitcoin comparison to Amazon and Facebook. So here's Facebook at $20 a share when it did nothing. 
And then here's Facebook at 192 from 57 and from 20. See that? So Facebook, like Bitcoin, could make an historic move. This is Facebook. 31 to 18, 54, 69 to 112, 132 to 172, 190 to 150, and off to the moon. See that? And then Amazon did the same thing. Low volume here in this huge move up compared to here. See that? And here's Amazon, lows and highs. Look, 43 to 8, 50, all the way up 402. Now, Amazon is 1,400, dude. Amazon is 1,700. Here's Bitcoin. Same exact move. Same exact pattern, bro. Here, see? This is this, 402 to 292. Then it's going to go here. It's going to go 40,000 to 29,000. See? Look, 440, 430 to 8, 580 to 260, 940 to 30, 370, 13, uh, 1,340 to 1,000, 2,000 to 1,700, 4,000 to 292. See that? And then it goes 292, 4,000 to 2,000, 6,000 to 5, 8,000 to 4, uh, 10,000 to, this could be 100,094. This could be just like Bitcoin. It's going to make that move again. This right here is this right here. Amazon and Bitcoin just takes time and it took 10 years for uh, Amazon to work. Here's when I was setting up. Look, everything's set. I built it all myself, dude. See? Wiring up the whole operation. Here's my first couple of rigs in the warehouse right here. Now I got the whole thing Shack Daddy. See? Just started. Got the floors done, walls painted. It's my, it's my sanctuary. How much am I making? I make 200, a couple bucks a day. Here, I make right here, $237 a day. Income, $7,200 a month right there, see? Mining stats, got some nice stats. That's it. Time is it one thirty? Today, check a couple of emails and be done. I saw something from Arb Coin. Yeah, I ain't getting my money back. Some bitches. Oh, I just got a deposit of of some uh, snow gem. I could sell it. Then you get a nice email. When you get a deposit, see, deposit into your wallet from the Stex team. See that? Automatic. See, and I have like uh, my suppliers. Like I won't show you this, but like I'll show you what's in stock right now. See, like I got like, show you. I can't show you who my distributors are, but just to show you, here's what some stock just came in right here on some some action that I can pick from and stuff some western digital equipment right here from one of my suppliers say 5,000 units 50 units I want to buy uh, Dell I opt core less than 250 here's a deal right here Discount Electronics has an OptiCore i7 for less than 250 with a one-year warranty right there with an Intel i7 inside. It's a nice computer. You can use that for again. You could it's got the slots right here. See, so it's got um, the take. Uh, where's it? Right here. Where's the graphics card? I click on that. All right.
right? So right here you got the, this is RAM. Right here, see this blue? You put a graphics card right there. See that? The PCI slot right there. These are two RAM cards. But you could see, here's the power supply. <clears throat> see that XPS had an extra wire that was connected right in here that was loose right to connect right into the back of a, a graphics card but there is no graphics card in here it doesn't come with one see it doesn't come with one there's no graphics card there's no graphics card People wouldn't even know that by a computer. There's no card in there. But that's why it's Discount Electronics. They offered some shit, you know, shit like that. Ricky Gutierrez is live. How I made 5000 in profits trading natural gas. This guy's a fucking also real character, man, on YouTube. This guy, Ricky. Guy who does a video of... 3,000 people watching him. One of the largest day trade chat rooms and uh, educating the kids like a, you know. He knows more than everybody on Wall Street, guys. This kid right here. ETF machine. I could tell you something they never tell you besides the Contego, which he never freaking talks about. Did you know? I'll tell you something right now that not one person has ever told you about ETFs, not one. And you'll say, I didn't know that. No fucking way, really? That's what you'll say. Mm -hmm. I trade through interactive brokers for a long time. They're the largest, most sophisticated, advanced trading firm in the entire world. I have my Dosh Trader Pro platform linked up through them, and you can do a margin checker. So let's go into UVXY and okay, and, and do a margin check. UVXY and do a search. <clears throat> It's 55.35. It's one-to-one -one leverage. There's n uh, risks associated, and there's no leverage involved with the ETFs. I'll show you. There's a page on here that checks. Margin. Right here. Leveraged ETFs are subset of general ETFs to generate perform. Bum, 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 bum. You cannot exceed 100% of the value. Uh, long an ETF, a 
300% value factor and so forth. And these are the norm, but they've cut it to one to one. And I'll show you, there is something on this website, 5B. Shows it to you. Go check on all the stocks. No margin. I can't find it. Risk management tools. Pretty cool. Nope. All right. I'll have to call them and ask them. There's a thing you can search on their website, and it tells you what the capabilities are for that particular stock. And none of these ETFs are marginable. They're all one to one. Ooh, micro Bitcoin buying. Hmm. I got some more coins in there for uh sold I can buy another eighty another eight thousand eight hundred and ninety micro bitcoin. Done. The coins are in the snow gem now. Last time I sent 42. Another 40. Done. 
Sent over another 40. <laughs> I got an offer for something I'm doing on. Nah, I'm not going to take that. Line that offer. I'll make a counter offer. I get hundreds of emails a day. Top step trader. Seth Estrada. Upload of the video. Oh, he's with the guy from Genesis Mining. Look. With Phil from Genesis. Because the guy's in North Carolina now. Ah, there you go. There you go. Look. I'm doing a webinar that's starting very soon that's going to help you. Same thing. Watch. He's going to go into a sit down. Watch. Bullshit. No, they're not. I'll help you put the. I'll help you put the dice in your hands and throw that shit for you. No problem. I blew it up, to over I blew it up 10 times before I finally made money and made $25,000 like I told you. Took me 10 times, but I did it. I have a patented 10 oh, by the way, on the bottom of his email, he's not trading his account. I'll, I'm sorry. I have to. Sorry, front tire run over. Get your email if you don't mind. I'm like, I'm sure you get this my newsletter. I'm in yours. All right, you are Jeff. Let's go to yours. Jeff Williams, here it is. So here's you, Penny Pro. As you know, I'm running the Penny Pro program. Look at my fucking gains. Well, not your real gains, bro. He's up 5,000%. Let's scroll down. It says right here, past results are not indicated. This table is accurate, though not every trade is represented. Profits and losses are actual from the portfolio Jeff Williams manages on behalf of Raging Bull. It's not his account. He hasn't taken his personal account, and he has not grown it. He's blew up an account. They refunded him. Blew it up until he finally made and said, look, now I could show you this fucking chart because I tried 10 times, and it's not even my money. It's on behalf of the company. Nice, they're all like that. The other guy too, what's his name? The options b bandit guy uh, who we saw earlier. I'll show you his. He's, he's the options machine. Where is he? His name is um, Jeff Bishop, not the other guy. Oh, so many of them.
compiled to, by the way. Uh, profits and losses are actual figures. Kyle Dennis's managers on behalf of Raging Bull. Come on, guys. Let's call it what it is. Jason Bond, same thing. Uh, profits and losses are actual figures, but from the portfolio, Jason Bond manages on behalf of Raging Bull. And the guy who owns Raging Bull is this leader right here. And his name is Jeff Bishop. Right here. So you'll see the five of them on YouTube. Where's Jeff's email? Okay, so many emails here. That's this guy. Weekly multiplier, Jeff Bishop, same thing. Uh, profits, and he manages on behalf of Raging Bull. So, yeah. And here he is. Strategy that I'm going to introduce you that has helped me take my current year to date gains to 1500%. Imagine what that will do for you, gang. I'm going to teach you those tips and tricks that I use every single day to trade all about 10 minutes a day while you have the rest of the day to do exactly what you want. Part-time job, full-time job, beat, gym, kid, whatever you want. I'm going to teach you how to maximize your profits and minimize your time at the desk. I'm Jeff Williams. My webinar starts soon. Put your name, email address in the box. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, this would be interesting. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got with me Phil from Dennis Mining. Hi, nice to meet you. And uh, we're chatting about proof of work mining. Why? Because it still is what powers crypto. Absolutely. Yeah. There's so many projects that are saying, we're going to go proof of stake. And I'm saying, well, yeah, man, prove it. Everyone's over in the crowd right now talking about proof of work. We're still in Las Vegas talking about proof of work here. We're going to do what we're going to do. Yeah, stop. That was a lot of for you. It's actually my first time in Las Vegas, so I'm having a, I'm having a great time checking out the city. I'm going to be jaded too prematurely. That will kind of time. It's like you have, like if you have 10,000 GPUs. I, I think a thousand is already getting quite serious. It's already enough that you don't want to be doing any operation manually in every GPU. Right. And that's where it starts getting really interesting. Right. And uh, we've got a few toolkits and operators in the community as well. So they are at that scale, but not necessarily their own capital interests. Right, so that's, yeah. that's kind of the idea. Mostly by the people. Well, that's, yes. that's the same problem. Yeah, right? So, I mean, you guys don't know anything about hosting for the people, do you? Mm. I did. It's your core business. It's exactly what we do. Yeah. <laughs> guys, if you're not familiar with Genesis Mining, uh, first off, I, oh my gosh, I always need to say, when it comes to, to uh, interviewing services, I'm sorry, it's not personal, but this time is, this is not an implicit endorsement of Genesis Mining. Phil and I are just talking. We're at right. a blockchain conference. Neither is his participation in this video an implicit endorsement of my core business. We're just talking about blockchain, talking about mining. But with Genesis Mining, your involvement with Genesis Mining is part of my ignorance. We've never met before, and I know track your career with Genesis Mining. When did you start? How did you get started? All right, so um, I'm the, the head of mining operations for, for Genesis Mining, so I handle all the technical R&D and the, and the operational um, the oper operational business of our data centers. Mm -hmm. um, I've been with the company since, since pretty much the beginning, since 20, 2014. Oh, there's their ad again. I've seen all the different developments in the industry as a whole, uh, Genesis Mining in particular, and it's been a really awesome ride to see like everything just growing and growing and like improving here and there, Amazing. And problems being overcome, and it's, um, I'm really happy to be part of the, the industry. Yeah, very cool. So let's talk about timelines as far as starting with Genesis Mining in 2014. Right. And uh, it's a little bit nerdy, we're, we're kind of a nerdy bunch, that's the thing. I mean, we're, if you're not comfortable with, uh, with a dash of autism, then get out of blockchain and uh -huh. get out of mining, certainly, right now. Uh, it's, we're surrounded by it. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of social awkwardness, but a lot of, a lot of technical prowess. Um, so I've got to say, your, your team and actually are very, very socially gifted. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so he's up here. He said, wow, you have less autism than everybody else. <laughs> oh, that's actually a couple we don't hear too often. And, and a terrible oh. thing to say, too. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we do our very best. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, immutable traits. Wow, I had less of this immutable trait than somebody else. But starting in 2014, there was clearly a shift in proof of work. In terms of the hardware being used for proof of work, at that time, we were... 2014, you said? 2014. Right. When you started with Genesis Mining. So today, frankly, 2013, right? So the renaissance of 
of GPU mining. We, we witnessed that in that time. Where oh, yeah. GPU mining was something that could be done for some of the uh, some of the we call it the grandfather, more stable, I can't say stable coins, but larger market cap coins now were once GPU mining. No longer is that really the case. But there's been a renaissance of GPU mining with the smaller cap calls. And now Ethereum, of course, more recently has been quite profitable. And then in the more recent history, not as much, with the prospect of it becoming even less profitable as the block reward is reduced. So that being said, with Genesis so mining, let me give you today. Yeah. Let me give you a quick overview of uh, where it started off. And so actually it's funny that you uh, that you mentioned the figure of 1,000 GPUs earlier. Our first mining farm was actually 1,000 GPUs. 1,000 GPUs that were uh, RX, oh dear, 270, 280? Yeah. And those uh, 9550 Radeon okay, so things. Our nine series. So this was uh, um, yeah, in late 2013. And um, we were mining Litecoin, right? Bitcoin was already, it was too late for Bitcoin. They first ASIC said here, then they instantly rendered the GPUs unusable. Yeah. So we were mining Litecoin, which was like the, the ASIC resistant alternative to Bitcoin, right? <laughs> we were mining Litecoin, that worked for quite a while, and then, um, and then Dogecoin, which is the same, same algorithm, but just a cooler coin, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, and then, um, and then kind of, it, it got apparent, okay, there's going to be Litecoin ASICs for this. And uh, at that point, there wasn't really too much of an alternative. We were like, okay, what do we do? Um, luckily, before that happened, X11 launched, uh, Dash, mm. making that dark coin back then, uh, not, not, not Dash, mining the X11 algorithm, which was a new ASIC resistor. Right? It was 11 algorithms all mingled together so you can't build an ASIC, it's too complicated. Good. So we were mining X11. And we were mining that for, for quite a while. Um, and then it emerged that probably there'll be X11 ASICs coming out. And we were like, oh god, what do we do? There was, there was nothing else to mine, there was just nothing. Um, Luckily, just in time, just a couple of months before the first ASICs launched, Ethereum launched. So we were made it epic. We were mining Ethereum on day one. That's so now right. Ethereum, and um, I know we've been mining Ethereum for um, like a, as a, as a, as a, the main coin that we were mining for quite a while. For quite a while. Ethereum has been the GPU and mineable ASIC resistant coin. Now for what are you doing? Sure. Two years. Yeah, that cash is uh, it's held up admirably. One or two, yeah, with a lot, yeah. And now, even though there's now the first ASICs coming, which are not too much better than GPUs, but still, um, there's more profitability than you can the Ethereum, that's for sure. And now, well, we're worried again, what do we do? Just in time, Monero forks away from the ASICs and goes to GPU, so... All right, now you're many, stuck. Many people come to me and say, hey, Phil, what are you doing all this, like... I've got this cool new software that, you know, switches you know, I think a small minor into a thing. Yeah. I think it's not going to matter so much. It really won't. It, yeah, it totally will. Really and the same with mining small cap all points is not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt the, uh, the entire ecosystem. But only a couple of miners do. Shut up! Early in my early on. But, uh, I wonder about that. Why there's so many... Why pool hopping and, and why coin switching yeah. is such a... Why it holds such a lure? Well, it's, it's it possible. seems like it should be profitable, but it's possible. Possible. it doesn't always count that way. No, well, I think it should be profitable for people. I think it's definitely profitable okay. for smaller players. Like, yeah. But let's say, if let's say a large portion of GPU miners all start doing pool hop, worst case, all with the same servers that always switch it to the same pool, yeah. Yeah. that would be craziness, right? And then everyone would lose their benefits and then people would switch away from it again. So it must be a self balancing system in a way, right? If there's a couple of people do it, it's not really bad, it kind of doesn't hurt anyone too much, and they've got an extra profit, nice for them. And um, if too many people do it, everyone starts losing out and people stop doing it again. So yeah. I, I hope that it's a self regulating system then. Yeah, I know so too, I just I don't know that it always plays out that way. I mean, there's also. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got a new guy to came. Great. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that it always plays out as, uh, as being profitable in the, the mid scale minor. Uh, it seems like more frequently it gets to, get to the mid scale, not, not the large scale, yeah. and certainly not the small scale minor. The mid scale minor, they, they do. They do seem to, there seems to be a tendency to want to set and forget, so to speak. Absolutely. Get, get to, uh, Since you was last to here. Systems of IT admin, the the Heinz so, trade you know, play. But, yeah, pools and pools. Like never lost. But with the standard AMD driver, if you've got an AMD graphic card, uh, an AMD uh, machine with, let's say, the standard setup, six, six cards or eight cards, doesn't really matter too much, and you start mining Ethereum, you double click the dot .exe and it starts Ethereum mining. You got an absolutely non-zero chance of it just crashing and it not working. You have to pull the plug, wait five seconds before I get back in. Why is that? That's because of uh, 
in terms of like the, the, the DAG file which needs to be allocated inside the GPU RAM and the DAG file is quite big and the GPU driver doesn't like that big file it doesn't matter technical reasons but you got something like a up to 5% chance of the machine just not booting but it's crashing so imagine you're doing cool hopping let's say between Ethereum and Monero okay? yeah man and you're switching back and forth and every switch you lose 5% of your miners now as a home miner that's fine right because only 20 switches that crashes once as a miner with a thousand miners let's say you got um uh, a problem. A, a significant number of rigs crashing every single time, so you're, you're going to be very annoyed. Very you're annoyed. Not want that hassle. <laughs> right, yeah, for sure. From 2014 to now, what have you seen Genesis Mining go through by way of transformation? You mentioned that first large data center, <clears throat> a thousand GPUs. It seemed yeah. larger than life at that time. Huge. Yeah, trying to come Huge. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I remember in 2014 uh, having friends and associates talk about GPU mining. <laughs> a thousand GPUs just seemed like it seemed like a lot of that would be huge. Yeah. Yeah. But then people didn't know about, at least people involved in crypto and Bitcoin didn't really know about data centers. Look, this guy said reballing flip course, chip GPU course, bullshit. Course, bullshit. Course, oh. in any way. And so I think the industry is getting more and more professional. But the same way, you do that anyway. And then yeah. Fair enough. And I should ask also, uh, where's the best. I don't like this interview. Are you active on Twitter? Annoying. No XSG in there. Let's see what Coinbase is doing. But I do all day. I sit here and I just fuck around. I do shit. 3,090. It's coming down. 3,178. I lost 100. Almost $100 since I wrote it down. Went from 43.23 to 41.99. See how I know? I track. See, that was the last one I wrote down. See? It was 3,026. At 41.15, now it's 3.09, now I got the box on it, see? Now it's 3.090 at 41.99. See, I got the little box going on that shit. Got him. Oops, someone's at the door, package. Coming, buds. card in there, run that shit. Oh yeah, that's what we do. Got some work to do on the website. And no lights on in the office. What do we got? Oh, I got 40 EXG in there. Let's sell that sucker. Done. Sold. Buy some more micro Bitcoin. Oh, Remy, that box ain't for you, dude. Serious, Rem? Thinks it's a bark box. Man, that ain't no bark box, Ram. Ram. Rem thinks it's a bark box. Ain't no bark box, Ram. What about, uh, guy says, I already pay. Okay, what about Clay Treader? I hear people talking about, yo, he's been around for a long time. He's cool. He does his own thing. Yeah, man. Thank you. He's cool. Does his own thing. Got his own game. Game. Let's see what the guy says in my chat room. Go away there, Ram. Says, yeah, I think it's time I miss you and the team and the environment, plus all good on my medical issues besides. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. So happy to hear.
Capital he's gonna be trading with. Get him, get him going. All right, so I could buy some uh, micro bit now. Five, I think I already got it. Do I have an order down in there? Let's check it out. I don't think. So. Buy at five. I can buy another one thousand one hundred and fifty-eight micro bit at five. Done. Put it in. Now I got two people in there, me and someone else. My email, done. Genesis, nice to hear from you. We'll delete your ass out of there now. Actually, I got a folder for Genesis, but that's not a good one. Oh, just got an email about my webinar for tomorrow. There's a link in the bottom. Check it out tomorrow at 2 p.m. I'm going to come on and talk to you all. Got some good shit. Private little meeting, me and a couple people. It's not going to be 1,000, probably be 10 people there. Up, oh, counter offer confirm. Beautiful. Oh, it was great. Nice. I'm all caught up on my emails. All caught up on my crypto. I gotta check my miner. Make sure. Fucked up, and I'm all set. I got it. Was one Mojo miner. I just gotta keep on. All right, peace everybody, I'll see you next time when I go live.